Nola Gent here on the west bank of the Mississippi River in Terrytown at Di Martino's Muffalettas. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we're in the New Orleans suburb of Terrytown at Di Martino's Restaurant, which is a popular locals restaurant. This is a family friendly restaurant, and if you're looking for where the locals eat, you'll find them here. Di Martino's has locations in Covington and Algiers, and this one in Terrytown, which is located at 1788 Carroll Sioux Avenue, which is about 16 minutes and 6 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Di Martino's restaurant is famous for their muffaletta sandwiches, with many folks ranking them as the best muffalettas in town. They have nice daily specials and combine New Orleans Creole Italian food with some traditional New Orleans dishes to put out some good meals here. Di Martino started out back in 1975, and they've been putting out consistently great food ever since. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. So, like many restaurants, they've got the place mat with their name on it. And then, as we look around here at the entrance, the first thing that grabs your attention is this great big menu. So let's go check this out, and we start under the sandwiches. There's five inch pour bowl combinations with roast beef, fish, muffaletta, shrimp, meatball, oyster, turkey gardenera, soft shell crab, above served with potato salad and gumbo. Specialty sandwiches served with potato salad on French or multi grain bread, turkey BLT, grilled chicken breast, grilled chicken club, chicken cordon bleu, chicken parmesan, chicken salad, then burgers with steak burger with fries, bacon and Swiss burger with fries, 24 karat grilled chicken with fries, shrimp burger with fries. Smokehouse top of provolone cheese and grilled mushrooms with fries. Next we have appetizers with Chicago style spinach dip, onion rings, eggplant sticks, fried mushrooms, gumbo, fries, sweet potato fries, red beans and rice. Then we have the famous muffaletta with a small or large. Then our sandwiches with roast beef, ham and cheese, ham and roast beef, meatball, turkey, shrimp, fish, oyster, Italian sausage and hot sausage. And we have dressings of cheese and olive salad extra on all sandwiches. And you can get those on po' boy French bread or a muffaletta bread. Then we have platters with shrimp, fish, oyster, soft shell crab, above served with choice of two sides, potato salad, coleslaw, red beans, fries, or gumbo, bill parmesan, chicken parmesan, spaghetti and meatballs, spaghetti and Italian sausage, lasagna, gumbo, red beans and rice, chicken strips with fries, then super salads with grilled chicken italiano, grilled chicken and tomato, grilled chicken Caesar, fried shrimp salad, Italian salad, and side salad. The muffaletta sandwich here is the top choice for many people who like muffalettas, and then you can't go wrong with a souvenir t-shirt either. So they've got lots of great choices here, and then they also have on display all of their wonderful olive oil, which unlike some other places, they use 100% olive oil in their olive salad. For their chalkboard specials today, they have lasagna with side salad, spinach artichoke dip, jumbo butterfly shrimp, soft shell crab, and eggplant parmesan. So after looking at the menu and deciding what you want to order, you just walk up to the counter and put your order in. There is no table service here. They have some of their other items on display here with potato salad, chicken salad, and coleslaw. If you want to grab some of that along with a dessert selection to get that sweet tooth taken care of. So when you put your order in at the counter, you'll then go take a seat and wait for them to call out your order. So you've got a lot of great options to sit in the back area here. And I put my order in with a variety of items for a total of $26.96 before tips. So we're going to have a little feast in here today. So it's a nice smaller seating area with a lot of different options depending how many people are in your party and where you want to sit. Uh, they've got some nice decorations in here, and they've got a nice aesthetic going on. They've got a small little room off by itself, and I think I'm going to sit back here to enjoy my feast. Oh, yeah. So they've got a lot of good artwork to check out and keep you entertained while you wait for your order to be prepared. And it's uh, certainly a comfortable area to hang out in. They've also got a history of the poor boy and lots of interesting history with that along with a painted a full color version of the streetcars being set on fire. So we're gonna start out with a salad that I got as part of my lasagna special on the chalkboard. Oh, look at this beautiful tomato. Mmm, oh yeah, this is really good. For a side salad, this looks more like a full salad. It's got some wonderful olive salad on here. 
They make fantastic olive salad all from scratch here. So you definitely want to try some of the wonderful olive salad on your salad because mmm, it makes everything better. So this is uh, definitely an above average salad. So they certainly take good care of you. And I definitely enjoyed the full flavors that were all in there with that olive salad mixed in. So just like I've totally destroyed this salad, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this salad. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. And I appreciate any help with that. Next, I got a seafood gumbo also because, hey, I always love gumbo. And when I get gumbo, I also love to put a little Tabasco sauce in it to kick it up even spicier. Ooh, look at here. There's a lot of good stuff in here. There's some nice shrimp, and shrimp seems to be the main seafood in here. I don't see too many other seafood items in here. So it's uh, pretty much a shrimp gumbo, I would say, with some good traditional New Orleans vegetable holy trinity mixed in. And ooh, yes, great flavor. And then I'm always a little sad. I just have one bite left. So here we go. And oh, that was really great. So just like I destroyed this gumbo, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this great seafood gumbo. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. They also do a really great job with their fried seafood items like the soft shell crab. And of course, their po' boys are also really awesome, like the shrimp po' boy here. Whoa, look at this beautiful shrimp. Mmm, it's so tasty. Now, for this episode, I got a lasagna as part of the lasagna chalkboard special, and it looks really beautiful. Oh, yes, look at this thing. It's got all kinds of ooey gooey, beautiful cheese. It's piping hot. Just look at all of this deliciousness here. Oh, this is a beautiful lasagna. Look at this thing. Oh, perfect cheese, gooey, ooey, melted this all over, steam coming off of it. This thing is just piping hot. I'm just hoping I'm not gonna burn my mouth when I eat it. So here's the risk I take it. Oh, I'm not burning my mouth. So this is perfect. Oh, so I love it when it's hot, steamy, but not so hot it's gonna cook the inside of my mouth. Ooey gooey cheese certainly makes the fun of eating that much more enjoyable. So you just get to have the stringy cheese going all over the place and doing your best not to make a mess of it and have it go all over you. So it's definitely an art form attempting to eat something this hot while at the same time not spilling the cheesy long gooey gooey strings all over you. The flavor is fantastic in here. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> Eating it neatly is definitely a challenge, but so far, I have to say, I'm uh, rather proud of myself. I haven't spilled a whole bunch of it all over me. Uh, and wearing a black t-shirt maybe wasn't the best idea for today, as if I happen to spill any of this stuff on me, it definitely will show up on the black t-shirt. But hey, so far, I'm all perfect without making a mess. So I'm pretty impressed. And I'm getting down to the bottom of it, and it's a little sticking to the bottom of the plate, which, you know, that's going to happen with the cheesy glue that tends to happen with lasagna. I do have to say, though, that there's some kind of special voodoo magic going on here, as each and every bite has been steaming hot at a perfect temperature all the way up to my last bite here. So just like I've destroyed this lasagna, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this lasagna. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So on my next visit, I had to try their steak burger with cheese for a total of $16.21 before tip. And when my order arrived, it looked like a really delicious looking burger and with a pickle spear. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, it's a decent thickness of meat. The cheese is melted perfectly. These french fries look really nice. And I'm always so happy to get a pickle spear. The pickle spear just always puts me in a better mood whenever I'm eating any kind of sandwich. And uh, it used to be almost every place gave you a pickle spear. Now it's become more of a rare item. I wish more places would keep on with the pickle spear tradition. Okay, look at this steak burger. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Some lettuce, onions, the cheese, a tomato. Mmm. Let's go ahead and give it the first taste bite. And oh, okay, so it's got some good juiciness to it. Nice flavors going on. And uh, all of the toppings here with all of the vegetables are making for a good flavor combination. The structural integrity seems to be holding together very nicely. 
And the cheese being all ooey gooey is helping glue everything together along with providing a lot of great flavor and texture sensation to add to a nice burger. Oh, just got a little cheesy pulley string there for the melted cheese. That always makes it more fun to eat. And each bite has a lot of good flavor to it. I can't say that uh, there's anything more I might want other than maybe possibly a few more dill pickles are always a great idea. So this is a pretty nice burger overall. I'm really impressed with the structural integrity. There's nothing crumbling, falling out. Everything is put together very nicely. So this is uh, overall just doing a really good job of doing what a good burger should do. It's handling itself very well. It's very easy to eat. It's got all the components staying all and the place you're supposed to stay on to make for a good sandwich. So this is uh, very easy to eat. I'm not having to fight it. It's just easy as can be with every bite. Um, just no problems. Everything is going perfectly without things falling out, which is a rare occurrence these days. Now he's still got some french fries to try out after that burger did a really good job of not having too much go wrong. It's a huge french fry. It's very solid and crisp on the outside. No floppiness to it at all. And oh yes, very nice and crispy. So they definitely know how to fry some really good french fries here. These things have no sogginess or limpness to them at all. These things are very crisply fried. It's always a pleasure to have perfectly done french fries with every part of it on the outside and inside exactly the way it's supposed to be fried. All right, we've got one left. These are really long french fries, which a lot of people seem to have trouble frying perfectly. But just like I destroyed this steak burger and fries, go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this steak burger and fries. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So thanks so much to everybody at Die Martino's for really great food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Dolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel. It would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.